And we've readied up. Yeah, now. we will get the first joust into that match. Mina Merx versus Blasty. Oh. It is a best best of three, which means we'll see three I, of those five minutes. I think Blast may have the stronger joust. If we can actually watch that bottom right map, you can actually see which one goes faster. Take a lot. Am I get am I right? Am I right? No conservative play, and Lone Gecko holds on to it. Now, I think it was right there. Metabricks, you see, they pull back and put a guy right in the goal. That means they knew they weren't going to win the joust, so they play conservatively. You see a lot of teams, when they know the other players are going to beat them on the joust, they don't go for it. Man, long shot and a rare miss by Boop. Yeah, that was a great crossover pass by the Illegal. They said they got it up again. They're, they're close to the goal, but right now, they have the oh, goalie right this. in front of them. They need to find a way around it. Lone Gecko on the side, oh! shooting it, but what a defense! That's Strabitsky, man. Strabitsky with uh, the uh, best is, goalkeeper for the first shot, game. There's a shot, there's a shot. Oh, Speedy nailing it in. They do that all day long. Strabitsky, a really great defender for the team. Half the age of his other compatriots, the Kevins, that also run the team. And he also, he's the, uh, what I call like the marathon defense, right? Where you are touching both sides of the arena. He's able to keep uh, all over it. Now everybody is about that fast, so it's not so much of a problem, not even really a thing anymore, but he is primarily their defender, the guy they count on to keep, prevent them from getting scored on and to set them up so they can score again. And Speedy living up to his name is fast enough to get downfield. Yeah, Blast had the position off the disc, but it did not really help. In the end, it was Metamark scoring the first goal. He was in a long shot, so three points Force for them. They obviously, Blast now with the advantage. They will have disc on their side to do, uh, getting a, a goal score against them. We see a long pass once again over to Lone Gecko. They're trying to find a way around the defense of Metamux. All setting up once again back to Boop Boop. Now tries to see like you see that on the other side it was Ooh, illegal. Can't do it anymore. Shot there. Now see Boop can make that shot normally but we've been told that he has lost his ability to shoot that and we saw that twice. Two times in a row he's missed three pointers that he would normally never miss. As a matter of fact, the one of the few times I saw him miss was at the end of the Poland World Finals, where he missed the three-pointer that would have got them the world title. Oh, Strombitsky had the... Oh, he's in possession of the disc, but it's over to ID Legal once again. Boot now receiving that pass. They're trying to set up the long shot once again. Seems like they really want those three-pointers early on in this match. Seems like that was a they missing pass. Did not work. Strombitsky in front of on the disc instead. Yeah, well, they really need that three-pointer. I mean, it is early. They got three minutes and 30 seconds. They could just go for the two, but then you give up possession, so you want to do it. And now they got the breakaway. Usually, fair enough can make that long shot so can speedy, but it was just a little bit out of range, a little bit too much pressure for them, so they decided instead to keep it out of their hands and go for the two. Oh, there's no goalie Back on that two. side. That might be a way. No, against that rim. Fair enough got it. Oh, right he got knocked the goal. Yeah, well, fair enough was going to go for it, but he got knocked out before he could do it, and that drops his ability to do anything with his hands. All you can do when you get knocked out like that is hit it with your head if you're lucky. Back oh, in the up, the up. of Blast oh, behind the Come on, Gecko. <laughs> Gecko, within point blank distance, hits the rim. Boop's going to try to go for another shot. He's going to set him up. A great there crossover over to Lunk. Uh, to oh. Ida Legal, and he's doing it. Now, that's a class one I've seen a lot of the younger players do, and that's where the uh, defender actually grabs it. But the uh, striker actually coming at the goal, he doesn't stop coming at the goal after he grabs after he throws it. So the defender is focused on the disc when he goes to clear it, and you actually just snatch it out of his hands and push it back in the goal. You see that a couple times. The uh, <laughs> best thing I could call it is getting stuffed. But uh, so it's a little tilting when it happens to you. He's like, wait, I had that. It's dunking over someone. Yeah, Basically pretty much. Basically like the NBA. But that was only a two-pointer, which means Metamarks is still leading. And they give up advantage. Yeah, the advantage is now with Metamarks, obviously. They uh, got the goal on their side. We'll see what happens with their chance now. They're trying to get the disc. Rambinski is the first. Ooh, they they're trying to rush him. What an attack by Blast. Unfortunically, they didn't manage. Another Very cross risky. press over to Strombinski oh, once mill again. Slot. Oh, we just barely missed the mill slot by, I want to say, at least a foot. Lone Gecko actually stacking up and boosting all the way across to get Matt War retained control of it as he gets it over in the hands of Boop. Boop's going to look for a spot to pass it. He doesn't want to just clear it. These guys do love clearing boost, though. Is he going to Boop shot them? Tell me he isn't. <laughs> he actually tried to go for it, but he couldn't get it. Strominski back in possession on the side of Metamarx. They're now trying to get the done. Oh, chaining over to the side to get that disc. Here comes the shot. Is it behind the goal? Yeah. Oh, he's scoring. Another one for the Metamarx going up six again. It's uh, six to two. A thing no. to watch for. I think to watch wow. for in the launch teams is that <laughs> when a game like this happens, you'll actually, you can look over there and you can see him and uh, if the camera gets behind him and he starts doing it, when Strominski gets excited, he hops up and down in the game. It's absolutely hilarious. A good start here for the Metamarx, currently leading by four. Let's still. take a look at the stats. If we can get them to pull up the stat board, we can actually see how the uh, game has been playing out. Right now, we've already lost the map, so we just have to wait for them to pull that map back up for us as well. Now, right, we'll go ahead and let it launch. We'll get the stats later. And here comes the quarterback, Idol Ego, setting up. They're doing the, play, the split. They're actually, no, they're rushing all the way down the field, setting up a striking position oh, and intercepted. Oh, what a steal. Strabinsky was having none of that.
And that's a classic move we've seen them do repeatedly back when it was uh, Slin, Affinter, and Boop. That was like their traditional move, is run down to that ramp, kick it down to Slin, Slin click it over to Boop, and Boop a long shot it. I did legal with a lot of room. He's now. got he all day to push past. There's you no push one next to him. You just There's push also it. no one in the goal. Go for it. And he's scoring. That was an easy one. No goalie back then. All on the side of Metamorphs, they went to attack mode. They, they didn't care about their own goal in Ideal Legal. He, he was looking around over his shoulder, basically thinking, there's no one, look at that. Well, they totally well, forgot about me. He's trying to see how much time he has. The closer you get to the goal, the higher your chance of getting that goal. If you're actually flying directly at the goal, you don't really have to throw it. You push it directly out from your body, and it will go straight. It has a very high chance, but he's not wrong. The closer you get, if I can get closer and not worry about you getting to it, I have, I'm increasing my chance of getting that three-point. Yeah, Blast is back. They're not just training by one, so Metamorphs really needs to be aware of that. They got the advantage on the uh, advantage Ooh, on the they're trying oh, to rush again, and they got few, him. A very um, fast knock there on the oh, side. Oh, the boost! Those guys are stacking up and boosting like they're angry. Seems like Sprembrinski will get that one, yeah. So he got a bit of time there. His boot right next to him. Gets the disc away first. Was he trying, trying to over the shot? wall? Backboard! But that's not going in, unfortunately, for them lone Gecko in position. But he's under a lot of pressure. Uh -uh, Sprembrinski gets it still once again, scoring! That's my boy! Metamarks <laughs> up to nine. Look at that steal. He was so aware of where the disc will be next. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just disc prediction? Yeah, wow. yeah, you pick up disc prediction pretty quickly in this game. Very similar to uh, Rocket League, but predicting where that ball is going to land. You play it Man, up, I was you just know I was trying with Rocket League. You don't get that fast, no. Uh, yeah, you, you get there eventually. <laughs> oh, I'm just bad. Oh, no, eventually that's how you pick it up. All right, they're lined up in the tube and ready to go. Just advantage the blast, as you would expect, since they just got scored on. Behind on four as they kick it down their way. Boop. Boop going for a boop shot? No, I know he was going for a pass and they could stack up and get it. Strembinski barely getting a chance to clear it. Gets it almost in the hands of Fair Enough. Fair Enough's been playing since the beginning of the beta, playing against the devs versus community match. I mean, he's a long time player, so he's got great disc protection, but he could not get to it, could not recover that, that bad clear. As Lone Gecko just slow plays it over to Boop, and Boop is waiting for Idol Eagle to get in position. No, uh, no, Lone Gecko's actually got it. Idol Eagle, I guess, gonna run defense. No, there he is. I'm trying to figure out where he was hiding. On top of the wall. Uh, on the roof, basically, even if there's zero gravity, there's no roof over to Boop. This is guaranteed Boop with the right position. here. Loon Gekka right in front of him. Even with three people right in front of the goal, oh, that you can guy is just bringing it in. Oh, when they, when they set up a certain direction like that, like, there's a very low chance the team's going to be able to defend. And that's really all the, uh, the, the, uh, the goalie's job is, is to try to convert three-pointers into two-pointers. Once they're inside that three-point bubble, like, you are decreasing chances of likelihood to be able to stop the attack. Blast needs to get back that. Best of three, it's an elimination match. So whoever loses here is out of it. Yes, that is correct. So we, they need to be aware. They need to stack up a bit now, trying to get a bit quicker, trying to score some more goals. Looking good. Advantage is on the side of Metamorphs now. Ooh, he dodged it. He said, yeah, fool me once. Shame on you. But Low Gecko actually picks up boost power off him. He gives up a little bit of speed, a little bit of room skill action there as he goes for the drop. Speedy with a shot, missing that one, might cross it. Right in front of the goal, once again over to Strombinski. He tries to positioning himself or even wait a bit. He's yeah. going to run the clock down. <laughs> Smart over to move. Speedy again. That was Boop missing him totally. Just one goalie. Strombinski oh! got it right through it. Over that rim into the goal. Yeah, and man. Another one for Strombinski. He jumped the shield. And what's funny is you don't even really have to do that. You can hold the disc out of the shield while you run your body through it. Your arm doesn't have collision, but it was just a really solid looking move. And it moves him a little bit faster. Like you can go as fast as you want to do when you're actually moving your body physically versus the speed limits that are placed on you when you're holding onto a disc. He had eight points right now. They scored 11 and Pull eight the from them. I want to see the stats. Who's, who's got the most scores? Who's running it up, man? It, it must be Strombinski. Like, he's super strong right now on the side of Metamorks. Blast had that real quick goal against them, so they need to do something right now. They got the advantage to try to set up once again with Ida Legal being the first one to get the disc over to Boop, oh, trying they to got fast this. pass. They got this. Oh, oh, no. Intercepted. Once again, interception, but back this. to Boop. Boop and Lone Gecko setting up for the goal. Going nope, to he's it. not falling for the backboard shot. He's like, get that out of here. Match over. <laughs> Backboard shots, beginner stuff, man. Yeah, first rounds of first map will go to Metamorphs here against Blast. It is the best of three. There's still a, there's still a chance yeah, for yeah, Blast yeah, to get yeah. back. Well, uh, 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 the people that are traditionally on that team, Boop especially, but even Lone Gecko part turns out this way, they're pretty trash first round. It happens a lot to them. And then you see it. <laughs> Just roasting them. Right. Oh, pretty trash they admit to this. Round. They actually told me this. When I see them lose so much in the first round, they're like, oh, that's what we do. We lose the first round, but second, third round's usually ours. Let's have a quick look at the replays again from the amazing Ooh. first match. Yes, from Rinsky. He was he was the top scorer oh. on the side of Metamorphs. He's so sure. spicy right now. Uh, drops another one in. Man, I that love that Rinsky. I don't see him hopping yet, so I don't know how excited he actually is. He was always a vital part of that one. He's either the pass or the score. Oh, he is having a good time. Yeah.
Sir Biscuit's a boss. <laughs> we see that. Look at that. It's a bit like every single time you, you see them breathing, like, oh. Yeah, it's yeah. really. <sighs> yep, yep. So we're going to uh, check out a video by Blast, right? That's it. Let's do it. <laughs> well, let's see, learn a little bit more about Team Blast. You saw, you saw the concentration in his eyes already in front of that match, looking at the camera, looking a bit angry. That's probably the scariest I've ever seen Boop look. <laughs> He's a very non-assuming guy, but that, that is a scary face. Oh, man. Oh, Boop. Boop's one of the best players in the league. Well, he used to be. He used to have an incredibly good shot, so it's unfortunate not to see this. But we got the joust coming up, so we'll get back into the game and actually see it as they get down. They already completed the joust. Just waiting for them to switch over so we can take a look before the uh, next score happens up. We go up and down. I'm actually watching behind us so I can actually see the match for you guys. Here well, we go. We, yeah, we're we in beat the, the goal. And no one scored. That's a good part. That's we didn't good. miss That's anything good. big. It was a long shot there. If that <laughs> would go in, nah. that would be crazy. Stramrinska once again. Oh, no. Boop's got the shot. Boop got it. And he's scoring. He's oh, but just he just barely cracked the bubble. He was, in the, he was in the grip position that he could have actually dropped the three-pointer, and his hand crossed right before he let it go. He picked up a two accidentally. I know he wanted that three. He was in position for it. But like I said, man, we're going to see if this holds true. But this is how Blast works. This is how these people work, is that they got to suss you out in the first round. You wake them up, and then they get going. However, they have another mistake they make. If they get a blowout, they play garbage right after it. <laughs> you, yeah, you got that all laid out already, so we don't oh, need yeah. to watch what Well, happens. they know they do it. They informed me of that. When I saw them, when I saw them get a, get a shutout and then play terrible the next time, or they got shut out in the following round, I was like, what happened? It's like, oh, that always happens to us. And like every player in the uh, European oh, league. Oh, once again, missing pass. That was, Ooh, that play was really away, bad. Free they shot. had the chance. Len Greco got the free uh. one. Another one for Blast. But that was inside of Metaverse. The first pass was okay. The second one was totally off. Not really being aware of his surrounding and making sure that this uh, pass could hit anything. So um, it's a lot that was faster. a Metaverse completely. Well, they're, they're woke up. Blast is faster, more awake. Faster and more aggressive play is a hallmark of the Europeans. Although Lo uh, Lemming will ag disagree. He's like, no, Americans, we invented aggressive play. But <laughs> you actually see this. like they, uh, they It's a thing called uh, uh, clear and boost is what you see. Uh, most guys started out doing that. We switched off to more of a passing play. And the Europeans stuck with it, started fine-tuning that skill. And now they're doing passing plays with a much faster clear and boost than we have. So they got a better skill set, at least in that as far in that regard. But Speedy's Speedy gonna go for the yeah. mail slot, and he gets it. That was a quick one. Oh yes. Oh it did. They uh, they uh, they underestimated him for a minute. They said, like, "Oh, we've got this," and they left Speedy open, and he went for the mail slot. So remember, this is the World Finals. There are no scrubs here. That is true. But we we're still not in the Grand Finals yet. So one of these teams will leave us uh, That's after true. the That's match. True. Uh, right now, it is Metamorphs uh, who took map number one. Let's say match number one. Mm -hmm. uh, so they need to win this one to get it straight. But. Boop, Ideal League on Lone Gecko. I'm pretty sure they'll try to stop them here. They got the advantage now on the Joust. Still leading, which is great for them since they had two um, goals right behind each other. Over to Boop Ooh. now, trying to set it up. Oh no, Speedy no. with the steal Speedy going right again. in the direction. Oh, the bounce pass almost connected, but it, uh, they were ready for the bounce pass. So he was ready for the attack, and the other team was ready for the bounce pass. That's a classic move, man. That's what you do. You have to adapt to the other team, and whoever adapts the fastest is the best. However, Metamarch is really good at mixing it up and making it difficult for you to adapt especially using the three-dimensional space, making it very hard. You basically can mirror a lot of your uh, attacks, your plays. And to most people, they don't realize that's what you're doing. Now, Boop, if his arm is working, he can nail that shot. And it oh. isn't working. He Onto can hit it from the tube. All season long, that's what he can do. He can hit it from the tube, but just not anymore. It's like it turns out the rumors are true. Boop has lost his arm. They, they went really well. Like They got the, the knockdown, then they got, uh, um, got knock, knocked as well, but the disc went right into their own hands. So they could go for that long shot. Didn't really work right now. It's Rimbinski trying to la finally launch the deck from Metamorx, trying to get back into the match. Long shot, that was basically just getting rid of the disc, so Boop can pick it up on their side. It's Rimbinski, he's super Ooh, quick getting that disc right back for the goal. He could do it, missing oh, the goal. I was hoping he would go for Metamarx. the backboard. That would have been better from that angle. Not he's scoring there. Oh, it's like paper thin when you try to actually go right for the goal from that angle, but he could actually hit that uh, black triangle on the side and get it. Luckily, Shrebitsky makes up for the mistake and goes and nails another shot, tying it up. 
Well done. So uh, brought job. to you by Stack Up. Veterans are our mission, as it's called. You can go to esl.gg slash stackuposc5, and o Oculus is going to match all donations up to 5,000. And we're actually going to stage uh, giveaway codes for uh, several different levels of donations. So $1,000, $3,000, and $5,000 worth of donations to Stack Up will be uh, used uh, to provide out uh, keys. That's good for everyone. So we all get something all of this. Yeah. <laughs> so remember, that is ESL.gg slash stackuposc5. All right, once again, Blast trying to set it up. It's 5-5 five, five now. Basically, we're back at the beginning of the match, but Strombinski once again with that steal, making sure that the pass is not going in. Setting Ooh. up Speedy, he got the free shot. He's scoring oh, 8-5 now. All day. Speedy can hit those three-pointers all day. He's been doing that since the beginning of the game, man. And now, now that we have like a practice disc you can uh, spawn during the warm-up, you can really, really fine-tune your shot. Which means Boop has no excuse <laughs> for be missing some of those three-pointers that he was like made famous for. It's, so, it's just so important to hit your passes. That's the biggest problem here right now. Strombinski is so good in stealing them, bringing his team back in possession off the disc, giving them a shot at the goal, and they work once again for them, so they're now leading. And as we said, it's 2.38 now on the clock, which means if it stays like that, Metamarks will be through, Blast will be out. The young players from There Is No Try have proven that uh, be, having a good pass is a backboard shot. No, did it again. Boop, you just can't count on him anymore. But the young players from There Is No Try have proven that uh, having a good pass doesn't matter as long as your pass recovery is on point. <laughs> <laughs> but it will be important right now to, to decide a Ooh, point. Oh, fair enough. Just run it up. Simple one there. Right in front of the goal. I just want to say, like, for on, on the side of Blast, they need to think about if they really want to go for those long shots on him anymore since he's not hitting. Right now, there's well, no, Boop there's no reason to even go for it. Try to set up a pass, try to get close to the goal, then score. Now, the thing is, is that, that Boop doesn't really play defensively. And, and whenever you have a player like this that is not shooting well, that's what you want to do. You want to drop back to defense, because generally your defensive player is an amazing guy, and he can actually strike too. So if you can actually rotate off, you would do that. But Boop is not a defensive player, so they'd be people left wide open if they rotated him. That's a major weakness of Boop. But the thing is, is it usually didn't matter because he used to be such an amazing striker. Lone Gecko taking one right to the face as he gets a bad clear because he got knocked out before he could actually line up that shot. It doesn't matter in the hands of Boop. Can he deliver because he needs to? No, he ends up passing it, which is a much better call to Idle Ego. Idle Ego, or uh, Idle Lego, sorry, or Ideal Lego. His name is so complicated. I'm just going to call him Idle <laughs> So Ego. complicated that he totally missed the rim there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. They had around it, but Blast is trading by five. They only got less than, a, than, than two minutes right now to get back into this game. They're still in possession off the disc, though. Bob got it, sending it over to Lone Guy. And all the way around the arena, trying to go from down low. There's Idle Ego to the right, but to the left, he could go everywhere. Oh, He's trying no. the backboard, but hitting the wrong wall. Disc far away from the goal once again. Yeah, he missed that black triangle by just a little bit. So instead of going into the goal, it goes straight down. Complex geometry on the backboard that you can study when you get inside the arena and a private match and pull, start pulling uh, private discs. Just play with it all day long. They need to add a laser pointer in here, though, so you can really just dial it in. <laughs> no, I like it like that. But it seems like Metamark's now trying to come back there really strong on the defensive side, but it's also Blast not really delivering as soon as they are intact. Oh, <laughs> the disc is still there out. now. Found Roof got it. Over to Strombinski, I thought, no, crossing all the way through the arena. But oh, it is ideal this. legal picking it up on the side of Blast. Yes, yes, that's a very good clear I'm expecting to see from them. Usually you see their posture, you know that they're more calm and do less foolish things. Strombinski actually trying to get to it very quickly. He knows he has to get to a defensive position or grab the disc so he can clear it out as their main defense. That's his job, and he pulls back to wait to pull them out of position towards the disc, so his guys can get into position for a nice cherry pick. I mean, they don't really need to do much. It's 40 seconds. Yeah, they're, run the they're clock, leading yeah. by five. Just playing down the clock, making sure that Blast is not getting position on the disc. Did not work. Idea legal picking it up, work. but it will be very Stack hard. They up. need those three pointers right now. But it won't work for them. It's another 25 seconds. They're far away from the goal. Lone Gecko with a long shot, trying to get the disc, but. Missing it. Oh, seems good to, for Metamux right now. If they can pick it up once again. Nope. This will just end in a skirmish basically down there. Nothing will happen the last uh, 13 seconds. Yeah, that's a little kid soccer right now, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, when they all run they for the ball. They tried to boop shot him, though, and it did not work. You know, they, they said that it's what they wanted to do was actually get a boop shot on camera against one of the pro teams, which is, like, pretty much impossible to do. But they want to try it, see if they can catch him with a man's down. Yeah, and it will be Metamux picking up the win here. 2-0 against Blast. So they're at least third place now. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they're not that happy about that right now.